In this video, I will be modeling how to complete the daily reading log as suggested in the Jan Richardson Reading Workshop First 20 Days. We have devoted one composition notebook to be our reading notebook this year. Our reading notebook has five sections in it. The first section, part one, is for the independent reading record. This section is used to record the title, author, and genre of the books you read. You have glued our first daily reading log in this section for the month of September. Our homework every night is to read for 20 minutes, and this is where I want you to record what you read for 20 minutes. This shows me and your parents that you are reading every night, and it shows us that you are making steady progress through various books over the course of the month. The headers of your daily reading log are date, title, genre, and pages read. For the date, we would write September 2nd, or whatever day you begin, by writing 9-2. Nine means the ninth month of the year, which is September. Then I write the title of the book I am reading for 20 minutes. I am reading the one and only Ivan, so I would write it on the line right here. Now, what is the genre? Well, at this point in the school year, we know two different genres, fiction and nonfiction. So what is the one and only Ivan? Fiction means stories that have made up characters and events. For fiction books, we would write an F in the blank for genre. Nonfiction are real books that tell, inform, teach, and explain. I call these books facts books, real facts books. For nonfiction books, we would write an NF in the blank for genre. The one and only Ivan is about talking animals. So which one would it be? Yeah, that's right, fiction. It's fiction because it's a story that has made up characters and events. Even though the book is based on a true story, and there really was a gorilla named Ivan, the author made up a lot of details and definitely the parts where the animals have conversations with each other that we humans can understand. So we would write an F for fiction in the genre column for the one and only Ivan. Now let's talk about the pages read. If I'm just starting the book, I would say I read pages 1 through 17 if I read 17 pages for my 20 minutes of reading. But what if I've been reading this book for two days now or more? Then I would write the page I started on today, which is 17, to the page I stopped at today after I completed my 20 minutes of reading. So for me, that would be... 17 through 31, pages 17 through 31. And since the one and only Ivan has bigger words and less words on a page, that makes sense that I can read more pages of it in 20 minutes than say a more challenging book that has more words on a page. After a few days, your log will start filling up like this. If you stick with the same book and read a few pages every day, you will finish it in no time. Notice the page numbers. For September 4th, I read from pages 55 to page 78 in my 20 minutes of reading time. Keep in mind that you can include pages you've read here at school too. In fact, we will start to record what we read every day here too on this same log, so it will fill up by the end of the month. For example, let's pretend that I read on September 5th in the classroom during independent reading time. When Mrs. Connect called us for book clubs, I recorded that I had read from page 78 to page 89. Later that same night, I got home and I read several more pages up to 95. So I could show that on another line underneath with the same date. 9-5. The One and Only Island, Ivan, Fiction, pages 89 through 95. What do you do when you finish a book? Well, let's pretend I get home and I finish The One and Only Ivan tonight. That means I would record what I read on my reading log up to the very last page of the book, which for The One and Only Ivan is 336 pages. But that also means I need to include it on my book's finished page too. Well, where's your book's finished page? 
in your reading log, you're going to notice that you have the notebook page with the September reading log on the right hand side of the page, but the, there should be a blank page to the left side of it. This is the page that you record all the finished books you read for the month. So, if you have not done so already, please write the following header so you know where to record this information every time you finish a book during the month of September. Books I've finished. Then, for every book that you finish, you're going to number it and write the title, the date you finished it, how many total pages it was, how many stars out of five you would give it, and a reason why you rated it with that many stars. Let me model what I mean with the one and only Ivan. Since it is the first book I finished this school year, I would write number one, the one and only Ivan. I know that I need to underline the titles of books, so I make sure to do that too. Then I write the date I finished the book, which was September 6, 2020. It had a total of 336 pages, so I write that on its own line too. I am giving it 4.5 stars because I really, really liked it and it's one I would recommend, but I have read other books that I liked a little better, so it's not quite five stars for me. Now I need to explain why I got 4.5 stars, why it got 4.5 stars from me. So I would say something like, I recommend this book because it made me cry with happiness. It was from the view of animals who have been captured and it changed my mind about what I think about wild animals who are living in captivity. And guess what? Yes, I want you to write a few sentences about your book with your opinion of it. This is where you get to tell me what you really think. You're actually going to get to tell your whole book club. So this is where you get to tell us why you recommend a book or why you don't recommend it to others. We are going to begin sharing these responses during our book clubs soon.